We need to discuss all of the evidence of voter tampering and scandals, etc. surrounding this election. We need to look into this now. But first, let's start at the beginning. It was a lovely time for the campaign. Celebrities saw Republicans for who they really were. Kamala was gaining endorsements and everything was going swimmingly. Their own party members also noticed that they were on board with the transition and the idea of a female president. Those who revered this era of non-masculinity ruling were particularly frightened by this. Because of this shift, we may thank the ancient Romans as well as the modern day billionaires like the Rockefellers, the Rothschild, and the Vatican, and so on, who shaped the modern era with their myths about men as the only true rulers. Hence, history, aka his story. Despite everything, this group of people will cling to their male ruling dominancy. Unfortunately, the age of Aquarius and the age of feminism is an inevitable outcome of reality. Here are all the ways they try to remove a female ruler from getting power. War between countries, natural disasters, questions about Harris ethnicity. She was always of Indian heritage and she was only promoting Indian heritage. I didn't know she was black until a number of years ago when she happened to turn black and now she wants to be known as black. Lies about the border problem. They're poisoning, They're poisoning the blood of our country. country. That's what they've done. They poison mental institutions and prisons all over the world, not just in South America, not just the three or four countries. One day, one or sooner, that if they don't stop this onslaught of Criminals, Criminals and, and drugs, drugs coming, coming into, into our, country. our country. They're eating the dogs, the people that came in. They're, they're eating, eating the cats. The cats. They're, they're, eating, eating, they're eating They're eating the pets, the pets of, the of the people that live there. there. Fake assassinations attempts. Federal source tells me the FBI is looking to interview former President Donald Trump. Trap, Trap that, that, you know, that hit his ear. Ballot boxes being caught on fire. Uh, we just watched firefighters pry open the back of this ballot box, which is obviously, obviously on, fire. on fire. We've heard some threats uh, that were of Russian, Russian origin. origin. Random recounts midway through the election process when the Democrats were winning. Bottom line, downtown, those ballots are going to be recounted. Mail in ballots were not being counted. Your application has not been released. Do you at least have the email version of my application? No, baby. I live outside of the U.S. right now, and I had requested my absentee ballot, which did not get delivered to me on time from Northampton County. And I opened the letter because it just arrived today on Election Day. There's, There's no, no fucking, fucking ballot, ballot inside, inside here. here. And the ballots that have already gone through the tabulating machine will be rerun. Re -run. Still have been counted. Trump telling people to not worry about the votes. They already have the votes that's needed already. I actually tell our people, we don't need your vote. We got so many votes, we don't need them. The comparison to the last election is drastically different. Republicans never win the popular vote. They have never. So yes, as you can see, these setbacks are frequent and expected. But just like in the past, there were always someone or something trying to stop progress. The Taurus era, the bull, the agriculture era of building kingdoms, the era of stability and money flow and all the time of most elegant, enormous, ginormous structures and the devote to identities, the Egyptian identities until the artistic, dynamic, adventurous Aries, the age of war and the death and the burnt kingdom that came within this transition to Aries. The dramatic events in Moses' resolute rejection of the bull contributed to this eventual success in leading people out of Egypt and transitioning to the age of Aries. Now keep in mind that certain people will always be resistant to the arrival of this new era, but 
there must be someone who harps us into the future. Hence Moses was harping those people from the age of Taurus to the age of Aries. Now during this time of the age of Aries, the Greeks, gods and goddesses replaced Egyptians, okay, with rewritten and they consecrated the Egyptians. I almost forgot, Moses also delivered the Ten Commandments. And keep in mind that many other civilizations and religions emerged during this time, such as Judaism. And later Christianity emerged from Judaism. This occurred toward the end of the Age of Aries, which is now introducing to the Age of Pisces, which is followed a time marked by optimism, faith, and superstition. Jesus, or aka Yeshua, tried to obstruct this by intelligently disclaims that the kingdom of heaven is not in the sky or in the sea. You contain the divine and the heavenly divinity within yourself. Yeshua drew a huge audience. Nevertheless, Yeshua, who came 2,000 years ago with this liberating spiritual perspective and message, came a little too soon. Later crucified, he became a symbol of contemporary Pisces era. And with this assistance of the Romans, who helped convert it, many more people, and those beings, such as the Romans, ushered in that Pisces era. So you see, when a new era begins, there is usually some pushback. However, in the end, one force will always find a way to usher in this era by utilizing all means necessary, including the sources that were pertinent at the time, such as Moses and his staff separating the waters, Romans and their extravagant new weapons. They use whatever they use at the time to force the transition if it has to be forced. Now, truth, feminism, and cutting edge technology are hallmarks of the Aquarius era. Given the urgency of the shift and the fact that it occurs just before every storm, what do you believe will transpire? Hmm? Remember, what happens before every storm? Yes, the lack of sound is true. Aquarius is a water and air sign in the zodiac. These two aspects are the most dangerous since they are so unpredictable. You see, change will occur regardless of their desire to restrain from it. So there is no need to worry. Take their pick. It will be easy or fatal. Mm. I don't know. 